Welcome biologists. In this session, we're going to be taking a look at reflex actions. So there are a couple here that you need to know about. You do not need to know these in a lot of detail about the names of nerves and things like that. The main thing you need to know here is just basically what they are and the value of these reactions. So the first one we'll take a look at is the reflex arc. So you should know this from GCSE. We have a receptor that detects the stimuli. This sends an impulse down the sensory neuron. Sensory neuron connects to a relay neuron. The relay neurons are found within the central nervous system, which is the spinal cord and the base of the brain. This then connects to a motor neuron, which is attached to a effector, which could be a muscle or a gland, which does something to cause a change or response. So in this particular example, I have got heat that's a stimulus, it's detected by thermoreceptors. I've got the sensory neuron passes the impulse to the spinal cord in the central nervous system. We have the relay neuron, in the, inside that central nervous system in the spinal cord. And then the most neuron in this case passes it to the effect, which is a muscle contracting to move your arm away. The knee jerk reflex, this is where the knee is tapped just underneath the kneecap. And what it causes is um, it stretches something called the patella tendon. And this causes your um, quadriceps muscles contract, swinging your leg outwards. Um, now, if the doctor was to do this and you had no response, it can indicate some damage within the nervous system. And if you have loads of um, leg extensions, it can indicate cerebellar disease. So the main thing here to know is um, that when the leg's tapped, it extends. The next one is a blinking reflex. Um, so this is um, where the reflex will occur if the cornea is stimulated. So this could be through touch, through a piece of dust or an object or a loud noise or bright light. Now the high idea here is that the eyelid would close to prevent anything from entering the eye. Um, so doctors can use this blink reflex when examining unconscious patients to see if there is a blink reflex or, or not. Um, it can indicate some damage within the lower brainstem. Um, so this is an exam question that I've seen before, um, suggesting how and why someone would react to an object coming towards their face. Um, so if you want to pause it and have a go, I'm going to go through the mark scheme now. So the reason they would, uh, the, the ways that they would do this is they would blink or close their eyes, and this would protect their eye from an incoming object. The importance of these reflex is, first of all, it's involuntary. You don't need to think about it. It's, um, you know, there's no decision making areas of the brain involved, which means it is going to be quick. And also you, it's not a learnt response. So um, babies from birth have um, have these reflexes uh, immediately in place to help protect them. Um, and like I said, it's fast. It doesn't access those decision making parts of the brain. It uses a reflex arc, which is a very, very quick response um, to help initiate a response and also to protect the body. So those are the reflex actions we need to be aware of and that is how they are used. If you like the video please share and like. Good luck with your exams.